I say build your Python freelance character is I remember when I was younger and I would play video games like Sims or like Skyrim or I used to play this one game called Dragon Age Origins. Um, and what what a lot of these games have in common is you have a character and whatever you do with this character, you get these skill points and your guy becomes better and better in those particular skills. So for example, if you're playing a game like Dragon Age Origins and um, your guy is focusing on being a mage and he's doing spells or whatever, or if your guy is being an archer or a swordsman, whatever, as you spend more time with those weapons or those things, your guy levels up in those skills. Or take Sims, where when your guy spends more time reading books, he becomes better at reading more books and also he becomes more knowledgeable so now he can make new uh, foods that he couldn't make before. And he can do a lot of things he couldn't do before. Or for if he spends more time in the gym, your character gets those skill points in the gym, he starts getting better, and then it takes him longer to get hungry and all that. And there was a point in my life where I kind of loved games. And then what happened to me was I kind of realized that if you spend time on yourself and you build up those skill points just in life, it's kind of the same way. Even though there's no gamification happening, you know, you're, you're, the GUI bars are actually not building up and you can't go somewhere, you don't get a notification for it, right? And when you log into life, when you wake up, you don't get a little notification that goes, boop, you got 100 points for sleeping on time and getting seven and a half hours of sleep. You don't get a little notification for going to the gym today. You don't get a little notification for being nice to your parents. You don't get a notification for getting your girlfriend a little gift. And what starts to happen is uh, when we don't have that instant gratification, we look in other places. Those other places could be video games. Those other places could be things like drugs and alcohol. And those other places could just be, you know, whatever, like places where you're fine, like Netflix, you're watching Stranger Things, you're watching House of Cards, you're binging on some anime you just found. And that happens to us a lot. And that happens to me at times too. And as you compare what you're doing in those video games and in those movies and how the drugs and alcohol might make you feel with where you actually are in real life, the contrast, it kind of, it hurts. Because one thing is so awesome and fun and instant gratification, whereas this other thing, you're getting farther and farther from your goals. Every day you're just sitting there like, oh, if I just started going to the gym, I had that thought like seven years ago and I thought I was too old to go to the gym seven years ago and if I had just done it, what would I look like right now? Or you have that thought, oh man, I knew I could have done that job or started that business and now my friend's doing it and look how well he's doing. Or I should have started that YouTube channel and look where that would have been now. Or I should have done this or that and look where that would have been now. But then boom, switch. Let's watch some Stranger Things, baby. Let's watch some House of Cards. Let's watch some Fargo. Forget about everything else. And we kind of get caught up in that. But here's a cool thing. If you, can, if you can get over that instant gratification thing a little bit and not getting those little notifications in life and you start to really focus every day, you take 10 to 15 minutes analyzing where you are, your own life is kind of like being that video game character. If you spend more time dealing with tough, tough conversations, maybe you're at work at whatever your current job is and you go in to ask for that promotion, it feels uncomfortable, your heart's pounding, your hands are shaking, you're sweating. Whew. Scary, right? But when you go and do it and you get through it and maybe you get that promotion, what just happened? Your skill points improved in negotiation. And now you could use those skill points at other jobs. Isn't it freaking cool? Like after you kind of realize that, why do you need to play Skyrim? You kind of don't. What happens when you put some 
uh, time into going to the gym. After a little bit, weeks, you know, a few weeks, you'll start to see some results. And now you're putting points into your own physical fitness and getting better. Your character in real life is getting better. And guess what? When you put that controller away, the character doesn't go away. It's still there with you forever. If the lights go out and the game ends or the hard drive crashes and all your saves are gone, it doesn't matter because that character is you and that's there forever. That doesn't run out of batteries. If you spend time coding like Python, for example, or whatever language, and you're coding, you're building your coding skill tree. You're becoming a better developer. And if you spend time doing this and you're building cool projects, it literally feels just like playing a game, except you might be making six figures doing it. Isn't that nice? Now contrast that with playing video games, watching Stranger Things, abusing drugs and alcohol, and sitting in your mom's basement versus playing this other game called being a developer, web development, working on projects that feel literally like a game, except it's like a glitch in life and people are paying you money, money for it. And at the end of the day, you have something to show for it and you're doing this from a nice apartment overlooking a lake or something. I don't know, whatever it is that you like to overlook. Maybe you could be overlooking dumpsters. That's your thing. I don't know. I don't know. That is something that excites me. These skills, if you work on them on your own in real life, when everything else goes to shit, these skills are there with you forever. They're there with you. They stay there with you. And you're getting money as a benefit, as a, as a bonus. And now you can not only support yourself, but your family. You also don't have to feel like you're, you don't have confidence. You also don't have to feel like you have that lack of control in life. Because doing these things and working on yourself gives you that control in life.